Hello everyone, welcome to yet again another Friday new product post. We have some new products this week, so let's talk about them, let's see them, and let's go. First up, we've got yet again another retail product. Um, inside this lovely box is the car diagnostic kit. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Um, this might be a little familiar to some of you because this is a product that we have carried before, but this is a little bit of a bundle. Um, first up, we've got this OBD2 connector cable, and it is an OBD2 on one end and a DB9 on the other. So you plug this into your car's OBD port, and then the other end goes into the car diagnostic board. And what this does is essentially allows you to take in the information that your car is spitting out, translate it, and then do things based on that. Um, we've got an FTDI or a Bluetooth header and some mounting holes and everything else on there. Check out the full documentation on the website as well as the um, tutorial we've got. And it'll show you how to interpret data from your car, read it, and um, you can even do some minor tweaking on certain models. So check out the car diagnostic kit. Here we've got a new stepper motor driver board. Um, this is a breakout for the L6470 IC, and it's pretty simple. It is just a breakout board for a stepper motor. Um, you would connect your stepper motor over here, and you would send it some commands, and your stepper motor turns. Um, some of you might remember a little while back, I did a video explaining the difference between servos, steppers, and some other things. And if you look at the link below, it'll follow to that video, and you can get the whole description on how the different motors work. And it'll give you an idea of what this exactly is doing. Um, quite simply, a stepper motor has a lot of different um, notches in it, let's say. And when you give it a step, it goes to the next notch. So you're basically cycling between notch, notch, notch to make the motor spin one way or another. So it's a pretty basic basic concept, but you do need a specialized motor driver to do that. Um, now this guy will do upwards of about 2 amps is what the data sheet for the IC says. We found that um, 1 amp is a little bit more conservative for a continuous rating. So it will drive, you know, a medium sized stepper. Um, if you want to drive something really big, you're going to have to do something else. But if you um, need to drive some steppers, check out this guy. So. Let's say you're building your thingamajig and it's just not quite working out the way it should. There's a lot of different ways you could go about troubleshooting it. Um, you could just look at, you know, serial outputs. You could do some print commands, you know, to a terminal to try and debug it. You could, you know, do all sorts of different things. But if you need to do something a little bit more advanced, you might want to invest some money into some test equipment. This here is the MSO28, which is a combination USB oscilloscope and logic analyzer. Now, instead of being, you know, this big honking oscilloscope, um, this is a very small unit here and it connects via USB to your computer and a lot of the stuff is done in software, which it comes with here. So the advantage of this is it is obviously very portable, it is small, it's easy to use. Um, you know, let's just say it might not be as precise as, you know, some $30,000 precision unit that you would get, but for most hobbyist stuff, this is going to be fantastic. Um, we also sell their MSO18, I believe, which is just a logic analyzer. So, it's really good stuff. A lot of people have used it, um, a lot of people really like it, and it comes with a lot of good stuff. Um, it comes with the probe kits here, as you can see. So it comes with um, two sets of probes, um, there's a USB cable in here. Um, we get a lot of these little um, IC hooks, these little guys. So there's a lot of those inside the package as well. And then you've got this little connector, which connects into the bottom here, and this is for your I squared C SPI and all your um, other stuff there. So essentially, I'm not going to fully explain this because I'm not an engineer and I don't, you know, fully understand all the uses for this. Um, but when you have multiple things communicating, you want to be able to not only see them on an oscilloscope to see if you know your waveforms are correct, but you also want to see if the logic is correct. So. This will allow you to do that. It's a great tool for troubleshooting um, large and complex projects. There we have it. We've got a little bit of um, probing action going on over there. We've got some diagnostic action, and we've got a driver for you. So this is my selection for this week. As always, we have more new products on the website, so go ahead and check out the whole new product post. And as always, we will be back again next week with even more new products.